It is literally one o'clock in the morning. That's how excited I am. to become my sis and be a part of my youtube family and if you are a returning supporter welcome back baby girl you already know the facts this video is a little different from what i'm normally posting i mentioned in a previous vlog that i was becoming a dog mom yes for the first time and i'm extremely excited as you can tell beside me <laughs> But y'all, like, I'm gonna do my new puppy haul. It's a ton of stuff. I think I went a little overboard, but mm, I don't know. I don't know if you can ever go overboard as a new mom. So, I won't even say that. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and just run through the things that I got, where they're from, and how much it costs. And then, a lot of these stuff did not come from Amazon. So, if you're interested, I can try and find the link on Amazon of the exact product that I have. So, uh, make sure to check the description box down below at the end of this video when you finish watching to grab your items and anything else that you're interested in. I'm gonna start with this. This is a letter board, and I just got this from um, Burlington. It was very simple. It comes with letters and numbers and, like, the basic symbols. So I got this just to, like, take him some welcome home pictures. This is the box that it came in. I already opened it, and this was $9.99. I have this dog toy. I just recently got this from um, Dollar Tree as well as this. And they all make noise, like, and this one has a little squeaky unit as well. Yeah, I'm trying not to make too much noise, I'm sorry, like, it is literally 1 o'clock in the morning, that's how excited I am. But it's literally 1 o'clock in the morning and people are asleep. I already had recorded a haul, but I didn't have all my stuff in yet, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just re-record my haul or whatever, so it doesn't hurt to just re-record it. But I have... I have these um, hooded towels. These hooded towels were $7.99 from Burlington. These are actually baby towels. But I just thought it was cute that it had the little doggies on top. And a towel is a towel. It's still going to do its job, right? So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just get the baby hooded towels and make it work. And I think this is really cute. And I think it will work as it needs to. So I have a dual-sided brush. It says for all coats. It's a pen and bristle brush. And this one came from Marshall for $4.99. So make sure y'all are checking out y'all department stores because they be having some bomb discounts, okay? Oh, this is a dog harness. What? Oh, this is, <laughs> I don't even know what I ordered. This is a dog harness for the seatbelt. So this part goes around the headrest inside the um, car and then you hook this to their harness. Like to make sure that they are secured. I don't know exactly how much that costs, but I'll have the link in the description because I do know that I got that off of Amazon. This is a um, pet bowl mat. So this will go under and shape like a bone, y'all. And it says wolf. This, I thought this was so cute. I got this from Marshalls for $5.99. I'm gonna put his um, bowl on top of this so that it doesn't make a mess. These are the cute little bowls camera isn't doing any justice but y'all the little bowls are so cute it's so small and it has like a paw print in the inside and I thought that was so cute I actually had got another um, little set of bowls with a stand but it was the first one that I had grabbed and it was from out of, it was from a different store and then when I went into another store, I found this one. And I thought that this gray looked so much better. So I ended up taking the other bowl set back. But I already had recorded the previous haul that I was going to post before I took it back. So I'm going to just put it in a clip right here to show y'all what the other bowl looks like. And tell me if you guys think I made a good decision in the comments below. Which one would you have chose? I ended up getting another brush because I saw this one in Dollar Tree. I didn't know Dollar Tree had nice things like this for pets. 
So I should have checked there first, but I went to Dollar Tree, ended up finding this, and I was originally going to take this back because this was five dollars and this was a dollar. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just keep both because I can keep one at home and then one can be on the road or traveling with us. So I'm gonna keep both. But this is a dual brush as well. And this one came from Dollar Tree, which it was only like a dollar twenty-five now that they're no longer a one dollar Dollar Tree. I got this. Um this is a dental links toy. And it has three lengths on it. One of them, two of them are very chewy. And then one of them is like a rope. And it's supposed to be good for the teeth. And this came from Marshalls. This was $3.99. I got this cozy pet blanket. Because I want him to be warm. Like we sleep in the cold a lot in the house. Like we like to have the AC on to sleep comfortably. Where I'm going to put him, he's kind of going to be like under a bed. I'm going to close the bed. But I'm also, I also wanted to have a blanket for him just in case. And I'm also going to take this when I pick him up to kind of wrap him and comfort him. But y'all, it has a little paw print on it. I thought that was so cute. And this was only $4 from 5 and below. So I have these dog waist bags. Because he's a boy, I got the blue one. And it uh, has four rolls in it. And it's 15 bags on each roll. So it's a total of 60 bags for a dollar. I got this from Dollar Tree. Well, $1.25 <laughs> plus tax. I have this little um, small ring. It's supposed to be non-toxic and it's for like um, the teeth. It helps with the teeth. I got this from Marshalls. This was $3.99. It doesn't make any noise, but it is soft. And then y'all, I have this little toy. It's a Star Wars toy. I thought this was cute. It says on the little blue part right here, it says together we can rule the galaxy. And I believe it makes noise. Yep. And this was actually sale at Marshalls for $2. I tried to peel the stick off to see the original price, and the original price was actually $6.99. I have this donut, y'all. I got this donut. I thought, I was like, oh, look at the donut. Because I'm like, where we eat now, Krispy Kreme? That's going to be for him. This one is really loud, and I got this from Ross for $2.99. It's loud, okay? I have this 13 feet small retractable leash. I got this from Marshalls for $7.99. After I got this leash, I was watching, I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos um, about puppies now since I'm getting one and just kind of seeing what I need or what I didn't get or whatever like that. And I saw like on one of the videos, one of the girls was saying that it's not good to have a retractable leash because it kind of teaches your dog to, that they can pull away. But I already got it, so I'm gonna just see how it goes. I don't know how true that is. And then I have a cool teething stick. It's, you can soak and freeze to soothe teething them. So I thought this was really good. Of course, he's coming home at eight weeks, so he's gonna be teething, and I would much rather him chew on this than to chew on my shoes, okay? So I'll soak it and then freeze it, and then he'll probably like it. And it makes a little crunchy noise. But this was um, from TJ Maxx for $2.99. And then Kamal picked these out for him because he is a small dog. I didn't know if he would be able to um, play with the regular size tennis balls. So we got some little tiny Nerf balls for the dog. But it was $3.79 from TJ Maxx. Because he's a toy poodle, of course, he's going to have like curly coat or whatever. So I got this curly and wavy coat perfect fur shampoo for dogs. And it actually has a poodle on the front and it says it reduces tangles, helps remove mats and tangles with ease. A quick dry breaks water surface tension, added lift and texture as shape. And it says soap plus paraben free. Doesn't have any harsh parabens and dyes. So this is it. And I got this off of Amazon. I believe this was like $14.99. But I will have the link in the description box below as I stated. I have these deodorizing pet wipes. And I got these from Marshalls for $4.50. Just because I want him to be clean his paws when he comes from outside. Um, because he's coming into the house and we do have carpet. And I got two of those. Um... Yeah, so when he's coming from outside, or if I want to like wipe him down because he's like smelling bad and it's not time to take an actual bath yet, I'll just wipe him down, wipe his butt maybe, you know, stuff like that so that there's no poop particles on his bottom and it doesn't get on the carpet. So, I got those. I have this little... 
this little, what's it called, storage bin for his toys. I got this storage container from Marshalls and it was on sale for $10. The original price was $12.99. But I also got this um, soft mesh harness. It's a size small. And for a size small, it looks like an extra small. I've been getting a lot of his things are extra small. So hopefully this fits. This was from Marshall for $5.99. And then I have him a little pajamas. It was from Marshall's for $4.99. I thought this was so cute. This is in a size um, oh, extra small. And then I got him like a little button down collar shirt. And I got this in an extra small. This was $4.99 from Ross as well. So that's everything inside here. It's just receipts inside here just in case I needed to take anything back. I have this little doggy bed. This looks like a small doggy bed. When I was in Ross, I saw this one. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. I have another puppy shampoo. I don't know if you can see it, but it's by Pet Care Sciences. It says it's sensitive, tear-free, detangles, um, moisturizes, deodorizes, cleans, and conditions. And it says it's for puppies over 12 weeks old and adult puppies with sensitive skin. And it's supposed to be like, and I was going to use this one on his face just because this one is tear-free. This one didn't say that it was, so I didn't want to um, use this one on his face. So I'm going to use this one on his face. I have a pooper scooper. Oh, um, tear free um, shampoo off of Amazon as well. But I have this pooper scooper. This came off of Amazon, and I thought that this was cool because I don't want to touch poop with my hand. I know you like you use like the, you wrap the poop bag around your hand and then grab it, but I don't want to feel poop at all. So, for all my dog moms or dog dads that don't want to feel poop on their hands, this is a good alternative. So, I already opened one bag to kind of see, like, how it works. So, this is how it looks. And so, at the front here, you have bags. And then you can kind of put it through here to, like, be able to pull the bags. So, then you open it. And when you open it, you can kind of push this down to like make this come out if the poop is really big. And then you put the bag inside here, like you put your hand in the bag, you put it inside there, and then you close it. So I closed it and then you just wrap the rest of the bag around the poop scoop. And then when you open it, it's like this. So when you scoop it up, it's going in. And then when you close it, all you have to do is like, that tie the bag up take it out and then it pulls in the trash so i thought this was really really cool and then it has like a hook on it so if you want to hook it on something or whatever and then i also have him a water bottle it's actually a multi-functional water bottle so i got it in the color turquoise i love turquoise they said it was blue but it's really turquoise so you this is this this plays as like a water bowl for them for him this is supposed to be like a poop scoop that kind of just sits like that but i'm gonna take this off because i don't like this this doesn't fit tightly around it like it comes off super easy so i don't like that and then you twist this off and you can put the water in the top one you twist the bottom one off you twist the middle one off and then you can put like snacks Treats or food in this one, and then you twist the bottom one off, and you also have a place for poop bags, and it has a hole at the bottom so you can like just grab the bag. So I definitely have poop bags on deck, okay? <laughs> Everything comes with poop bags. So the next thing I have is an oversized plush blanket throw. Honestly, I found this in just the like throw section. I don't know if this is an actual like puppy blanket but I mean what the hell what's the difference like I know it has puppies on it which will got which is what got me and I was like oh poodle you know, poodle so I was like let me get it and then it was the colors that I needed the gray and the white and it's very very big and what I'm going to use this one for since it's so big I bought it to cover up his crate so his crate um like I didn't order like a crate cover because I thought that was very unnecessary when you could just use a nice blanket. And if you do decide to get a blanket instead of an actual crate cover, you can use the blanket for other things too. 
you can't use a crate cover to wrap them up <laughs> if you wanted to. So I mean, this is very, I feel like getting a blanket is, you can use it for many different things. So I just would rather get this instead of the actual crate cover. I did have the crate cover in my car on Amazon, but I took it out once I saw this because I was just like, this makes no sense. This came from Burlington's and this was just $9.99. A crate cover is like, I think for my 24 inch crate, it was like $27 or something. It don't make sense, like it really don't. And then I forgot to tell y'all why I got this from. I got this off of Amazon. I believe this was $9.99 as well. Yeah, this was like the cheapest one I saw. So this, this is his bathtub, y'all. So what it is, it's a collapsible bathtub. So all you do is like push the inside and it pops out. This is his tub. It smells like dog. Like somebody bought it and put their dog in it or used it and then sent it back. I don't like the smell of it. I'm not the clean up. But I have this little thing and I can just wash him in it instead of putting him in my sink or in my tub. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just something about putting a dog. Because I've seen people on YouTube put their dog in like the kitchen sink or wash them in the tub. Yeah, you can wash them in the tub, but then their fur, if, I don't know what kind of dog you have, but their fur is going to get like all caught up in the tub, like in your dream. So, I just, that just didn't make any sense to me. And then putting them in the kitchen sink is a big no-no. Like, my pup is not even allowed in the kitchen, period. So I thought like for a better alternative, this was good. I could sit this in the tub just in case like splashing or whatever, just to keep the mess to a minimum, like on my floor and things like that. But as far as like the water and what he's actually gonna be in, it's gonna be this. And it comes with like a drain thing right here. So like I could take this outside and then just let it drain out and then, you know, wash it out or whatever. But yeah, I thought this was so cute. So I got this. So now, and when you want to store it, all you have to do is like push down on it. So easy for like traveling and um, things like that. And I got that off of Amazon, I believe. These came from Walmart, obviously. <laughs> but I got some little self moist training treats. It's by Blue. Um, and it's a little bit. It's supposed to be soft and small. So I got a small pack of these. This is the chicken recipe. I got a four ounce bag just because um, I don't know if he's going to like it. And I don't want to buy a big bag and it go to waste. I got another little rope toy. And it was a dollar. This was $3.88 or $4.88 I believe. And then this is the total care kit. It's um, the toothbrush with the brushing gel and it helps remove plaque and tartar um, brush for maximum effort and it helps freshen the breath so it has a finger brush it has an actual toothbrush and then it has like the little brushing gel and this was like seven dollars from Walmart I did see that five and below had a toothbrush with a little like toothpaste thing but I don't think it came with the finger brush and it was only five dollars there was an arm and hammer one i was going to get it but it said for adult dogs this one doesn't say but i was thinking like after i left and i got it i was like okay well if he is too young to get like the the toothpaste or the brushing gel or whatever i can just use water and kind of just brush his teeth like that it kind of still you know gets the food and stuff out but it won't really freshen his breath or like really clean his teeth like it should but it will get him used to brushing um even though he's young i can still do it because it'll help him get used to brushing and also and then i could just add the gel on as he get older so y'all this is my doggy bag i am so excited about this bag i found this on amazon this was like $30 I think but it's like it's so cute so it has so many different compartments uh -oh. this play has like a, a bowl kit like this is a collapsible bowl and it came with two of those so you leave that there and then in this section up top is where you can put like um, poop bags so you can kind of just pull it out and go 
And then it has a lot of space up here, so more things can go in there other than poop bags, okay? And then when you open this compartment, it is... It is the top compartment and that way you can um, put any other necessary items that you need. And then it also has another compartment, y'all. And in this compartment, it comes with two of these. And so you can put food inside here, food and treats. I believe it's insulated. That's what it looks like. And then if you didn't want to put it in the bag, you could carry it like this. But I think I'm going to just leave it in here. Um, I think I only need one. Because I have this water bottle. I can put the treats in here and then put the food in here. And then if I take one of these out, it gives me a lot more space. So that's probably what's going to happen. Or if I don't, if I separate it, I can put them still on top of each other and still have this side. This is his doggy bag. This is what we'll carry with us. It's kind of like a diaper bag. <laughs> My mama thinks I'm ridiculous for having this, but hey, I'm overly prepared. And then I have like a patina ring for like this water bottle or my water or whatever. So we got that. This is another collapsible bowl. And this is his carrier, scroller, whatever you want to call it. I got this one because this one was accepted, accepted on the plane. And just in case we need to carry him on a plane, I'm just like thinking ahead. But this is the carrier. I got this off of Amazon. This was, I think this was $59 on Amazon. I'm not, I can't remember. But you can carry it like this. And then it comes with a um, shoulder carrier that you can connect to these rings. So you can like put it on your shoulder and on this back side is what i love because like it has like a little flap right here and you can put that on like your um pole for your um your suitcase like your suitcase like little stick you can put this slide this up on it and then you can have the dog on the suitcase so you don't have to carry the dog and have to carry the suitcase they can all be together i love that about this, about this so it's so many different things so it can play as like a car seat if you like open this top you can like sit in here as like a car seat and um it doesn't have oh well, yeah it do have the built-in leash thing and then so you can open it like that you can open it like this you can turn it and you can open it like this oh wrong one you can turn it on the other side that side doesn't open but it does have a storage little um zipper and that's what i put this that's what that was if you turn it this way you can open it like this so it really opens up all pretty much all the sides and then all mostly all the sides are mesh which is good because it it's more breathable like it's Give them fresh air constantly. And let me show you the inside. Oh, uh, here's the uh, uh, shoulder scrap. And then this is the padding. I hate the way this thing smells, y'all. As soon as I'm this video, I'm throwing it in the washing machine because it just don't smell good to me. So this comes out. It has a Velcro. And also, in order to wash it, you just unzip this. Take the little board out and then throw this in the washer. But I'm gonna leave this out because I'm about to wash this thing. It smells. And y'all, it comes with these two little clips on all the zippers so you can like clip it together and the dog can't unzip it. Like, all the zippers move together. So I think that's pretty cool. Or so you don't miss and unzip it or whatever. It's very safe. And that's on all zippers. All zipper areas have two zippers for that reason. You can take this off. Well, you can leave it on and roll it. See the wheels at the bottom, which also can come off. You can 
You can roll it. I still haven't figured out how to really work it. But then you can take this off. I'm making a lot of noise. So see, you can take this off. And then it has the Velcro at the bottom to stick back on it. But it becomes a carrier. Or you can, you know, like I was saying, open this top part. And then let it be like a... Um, car seat and carry it that's one of the one of my favorite things that I bought completely to be honest and then I have these these are pads these are not actually puppy poop pads or whatever they call it but it's the same thing. It still has cotton in the inside that is, absorbs the liquid and the plastic at the back to stop it from leaking all over the place. It's the exact same thing. So don't get caught up in getting the puppy pads where you get like 20 in a pack for $15. I literally got a hundred of these in a pack off of Amazon for like $15, if, if that. I can't remember. I bought these before I even thought about getting a puppy. I bought it for something else. But when I realized that I had so much of them still, I was just like, and I need some actual like puppy pads or whatever. I was like, I'm gonna just use that. It's the same thing. So don't get caught up. And I'll leave that in the description box below as well. This is a play mat. A waterproof play mat. It has llamas on it. It's huge. And then this is the other side that goes on the floor, the non-stick, the non the gripping side to grip the floor. And I'm gonna put this underneath this playpen. Because we got carpet, I didn't want any accidents to happen or to for him to be like on the carpet directly long periods of time. So just in case an accident happens, this will be easier to clean and this can be thrown in the wash machine to wash as well. And let me show you the plate pin that's going to go around this. It's very heavy. It's heavy duty. That's what this box right here is. It came inside this big box. I got it off of Amazon. And this is it. It's not opened up. I have to put it together and that'll be in another video so that y'all can see it opened up. This is a playpen, it has a door that swings. Let me see. It's a four in one play yard. It's not made specifically for dogs. However, it does work. This is like, probably like a baby um, play yard or something, but people use these for their puppies as well to like block them off in one contained area. So that's what I got it for. I'm just gonna have him a specific area so he can learn to play by himself still be able to run around and um but still be in one spot so i got that and then i also got um let me show y'all i'll show y'all in a minute but i have a a gate that i put up in the kitchen by going into the kitchen to block him off from the kitchen because like i said i don't want him in the kitchen and i got that off of marketplace facebook marketplace it's, it was used but it looks brand new i got it for 20 dollars. so if you are looking for like used products you don't have to buy everything brand new check out um facebook marketplace in your area check out offer up it's just an app called offer up and it's kind of like marketplace it's like people put things on there that they're selling or wanting to buy and they'll go in there like offer a price and if the people accept it then y'all just arrange agreement and I, I believe you could do shipping now but I honestly don't trust the shipping me personally I just rather meet somebody in my area if they're not in my area I can't meet them I don't get it um, because I heard that you can get scammed a lot with the shipping so yeah I just want to see the product before I pay for it so you got Facebook marketplace you got offer up and then you also have this app called let go or let it go or something like that and that's the same thing as like offer up in marketplace so just check those out if you're not looking to buy anything brand new um i don't know if people still be on craigslist but i mean if they do you can check it check craigslist as well i did see one of these old marketplace but it was for like a hundred dollars 
like y'all i literally got this for like 75 on amazon so you just got to be careful that you're not getting ripped off on these used um websites or whatever but that concludes my huge puppy haul um i'm gonna calculate it and then put it um the total on the screen or probably in the description or in the comments somewhere i'm gonna put it somewhere on this video so just look out for it of how much i actually spent because this was a lot of money but i, I do want to show y'all the game before i end the video let me just go ahead and end the video because i have it on this tripod with the ring light and then i'll show y'all this so after i end the video don't click off because I'm going to show you the gate. Like, I'm not going to talk or anything. I'm just going to put a quick clip in. But please don't forget, if you do not mind um, purchasing through the links in the description box below. Because that helps me gain a little commission so that I can make videos like this for you. Any commission I use, I put it right back into Amazon. And buy more products so I can show you guys. I just keep doing it like that. So if you don't mind, please, 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 please. It is very important that you purchase through the links. It is legit Amazon on link and um it takes you straight to the product you don't have to search for it or anything it takes you straight to the product and it also helps me gain commission so if you don't mind but um thank you so much for watching good luck on your puppy and, and your dog mom or dog dad journey and i'm excited to get my puppy please subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit the bell notification so that you're notified when i post new videos i'm gonna take y'all along with me on my dog journey as a new dog mom and um just a reminder the toy poodle at eight weeks we, he have a few more weeks before he come home but i'm going to be preparing for him to make sure that everything is perfect for everybody and it's a smooth transition for everybody um so yeah just follow me and make sure you subscribe and thank you so much for watching again i will see you on the next video I also forgot to tell you that I did purchase a crate. It was a 24 inch crate and I got it off a of Facebook marketplace and I got it for $20. Um, it's in good condition. However, it does have a little bit of rust on it. So I'm going to resurface that and I haven't done it yet. So that's why I haven't showed it in the video. It's not even at my house right now. It's at my mama house and I'm going to be doing that tomorrow and I'm going to vlog um, the process of doing that just in case you need to do that. If you come across a good crate for a good price that you want to like repaint or whatever, I'm going to show you that. And also I forgot to show you that I got this little container. It is a, um, how many pounds? I believe it's a 10 pound container and it was 10 bucks. $9.99 and it came from Marshalls. I did see that uh, what's the place called? Um Home Goods had good things as well for a cheap price. So check out Home Goods as well. But this is definitely the end of the video for sure. I just wanted to tell you those few things and show you that one thing. So never, 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 never.